If you haven't felt the effects of climate change, you will. It's changing the entire planet, Earth. We live in a tiny place called Maine. The natural resources that we have are what make Maine, Maine. We live off it, we're fishermen, we're farmers, we're foresters. Who doesn't want to have a job where you can see this every day? A lot of people see climate change as like, oh, this is, you know, a problem for the next generation. It is not a problem of tomorrow, it is a problem of today. It has the impact of changing life as we know it. When I was a kid, this might have happened once every 10 years. Now you can pretty much count on it happening every year. We're seeing water on, on sections of roads that we hadn't seen before. Drought, erratic frost states, more extreme storms. The ski season's changing, ice fishing season's changing. All those things are changing right now. The thing about climate change is that it is directly threatening the things that we love about Maine. When I was a little kid and I would go out lobstering with my dad, we would just nail in lobsters hard. I have traps I can show you that have stuff growing on them that I've never seen before. The Gulf of Maine is warming faster than 99% of the world's oceans. Climate change isn't just something that happens on the coast. This is not just about sea level rise. This is about, in our case, not enough water. Actually, two moose out here. Moose can have between 30 to 90,000 ticks on them. When we recover that animal, it's lost 30% of its body weight and it's dead. And that's because of the impact of winter tech. In Maine, transportation emissions are 54% of overall state emissions. We've always had really strong farming and forestry and fishing industries. In order for those industries to continue to thrive, we need to focus on climate change now. We're writing a history right now for Maine that we will be ready. We're going to be a state leading. It's really important for climate change not to be seen as something that we have to pay for. It's also an opportunity for us to participate in the economy in a new way. There's 1.3 million people in the state of Maine. There's only 6% of us that benefit from heat pumps. Maine is setting an example for other states to set bold climate goals. Buildings have to save energy to address climate change. When we're up at full production, we're employing more than 100 people. Those are 100 good paying jobs in a community that is a couple thousand people. That has a multiplier effect that is massive. This is one of the first community solar farms built in Rumford. Having a solar farm or wind power are going to allow us to increase our tax base and we're going to keep that money here at home where it belongs. Framing the climate crisis as a social issue rather than a scientific issue, especially for younger folks, is critical. This feels like a team project where we all need to contribute. I felt like this was one way that I could make a difference. We hope we can do something about it. The next 10 years are really important. What Maine won't wait is trying to do is to say, here's what you can do about this. And by the way, they're going to help save you money. We're just trying to find common sense ways to help people take action. We are seeing businesses and towns follow the governor's lead. They're not waiting, and that's exciting. If we want to continue to have the state that we all love and cherish so much, we need to act now. Maine cannot wait.